In my career, the biggest mistakes I ever made were putting people in positions that, that weren't ready for it and didn't come to me and say, I want this. So when it comes to a business, the businesses that I invested in, that I partnered with and that I, that I do now, um, you know, equity capital with and things like that, it's either somebody who already has a business going or somebody who comes to me and says, hey, I want to do this thing versus me going to somebody else and saying, hey, I think you can do this. Mm -hmm. So the best people that I've ever worked with in my companies and in any of my other businesses were the ones that came to me and said, I want to do this thing. So that's what I look for. So for young people, um, you know, it's that desire. It's that, you know, that innate desire to want to go do something like me. You know, when I want to start a business, I just went and start a business. You know, if I want to start a business now, I just go do it. And then I seek out the other parts and pieces. Now, that aside, there's obviously people that you can seek out that have experience that you can learn from, things like that. But from me personally, I will not invest in a company or an operator that did not come to me and that is not, you know, put together and willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen, um, you know, or until I'm comfortable that they're solid operators. So, uh, you know, promoting people too fast that weren't ready or weren't qualified, you know, that was a huge mistake just because I saw potential in them and I liked them and I wanted to help them but people aren't always ready, you know, for the next level. It's, it, it's awful when that happens because you have these people in your life that you, I mean, you have love for them, you know, you care about them, you want them to succeed, you see the potential and you keep giving them the opportunity. But if they don't take it on their own, if they didn't want that, you know, you can't force it. I've had a, a number of people that, you know, I still care about to this day, but letting them go was a really tough thing to do. But frankly, I should have done it a lot earlier only because, they didn't really want it as badly as they needed to want it to, to succeed. And so for all those people out there that are listening, all, all of our young entrepreneurial folks, don't let this be a limiting belief. If you heard what Greg said, it's, he's not going to invest in somebody who doesn't want it on their own. So if you have that burning desire within yourself, you can find people who will invest in you, who you can learn from, who you can work for. Um, but you just need to be bringing it. He's just not going to be handing those kind of things out. And I think that's really strong. And I know I'm going to take that advice uh, when I'm looking at putting people into positions of leadership, that they have to really want it on their own and not me trying to convince them that it's a good idea for them. Yeah. And show you how they prepared for it. What are they doing to take action? How committed are they to it? So those are the things that you look for is just that commitment. You know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes morally, legally, ethically to make this happen. And those, those other people, you know, didn't have it. And then you, you touched on it too. You know, a lot of people have, tr have trouble, you know, firing people. Now you want to hire better so that you don't have to fire, but you're going to face those issues. And it's always better to, you know, you've heard, you know, hire, uh, you know, hire fast and fire quicker, you know, that kind of thing as you're growing and you're starting out, you know, you want to be really careful who you hire, listen to those gut instincts. And if something's not right, you know, you always have that probationary period, take care of it quick. It's always better to take care of it quick. If you tell people, Hey, this is a trial basis. We're going to find out if you're a good fit for us. If we're a good fit for you, we're going to know real quick. And if you find out along the way that it's not, you're better off taking care of it first and foremost. I know it's difficult, but you just take the personal, personal out of it and you just say, hey, this just isn't a good fit. We're going to go our separate ways. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you just let them go. Um, and then you also, you know, the quicker you do that, the better. And then you also need to understand that some people don't want to advance. Some people are fine just doing what they do. And I mean, you need your, you know, you need your line workers, you need your managers, and then there's people that are executives, right? Everybody has their comfort level. Everybody has their goals. Now, people might say, I want this or I want that. People might say, I want to be rich. But if they really did, they would do something to start making that happen. Pour into themselves, develop themselves, work harder, work later, work, you know, they'll do something. But if somebody says, I want to be this, and then they're the last, you know, they're the last one in and the first one out, and, you know, they're not doing anything to improve themselves. That's, that's an incline, you know, indication that they're not serious. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff there.